that is uh um oh. no worries no worries um chromatic yoga is, is a system of approach or an approach to yoga and how we can uh, utilize a step-by-step -step format in order to um, heighten our ability to learn something and as teachers to transmit meaning to teach something so what we provide and what I will be providing in September is something uh, that is going to transform the way that you move, practice, and understand the body. And so we start, of course, with anatomy, but I'll stop there. Uh, <laughs> I like to teach yoga. I like to teach. I like to farm. I live on a farm. I play music, lots of other things, uh, generally speaking. And um, I've been uh, teaching with yoga games for, I don't know what, uh, since 20. 16, maybe, uh, perhaps 15. We just 16 or 17, but we were, we were quite unsure. We, <laughs> <as> well, <but laughs> Who knows? For a while. We just been... have, since we started, we, 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 we will continue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's been a pleasure to, to, um, be over in Sweden with all of you. And, um, I know a number of you may have practiced with me. Some of you haven't. So I'm also happy to answer any questions you have about the, the way I teach and such. If you, if you're not sure. Thank you. And about the uh, immersion uh, uh, and and um, and the things that we're going to go see there, and about the things that we're going to send before the immersion. Can you can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah. Okay. So the immersion is called Anatomy in Motion, and Anatomy in Motion is designed to help you understand your anatomy. And so we start online first with an education on the muscles and the bones and the joints and how the body operates, which is called biomechanics. So bio, biomechanics, meaning how the body operates or how the body moves. And so what we'll be studying in the beginning is just what are the available joint movements and what muscles create those movements. And then what that provides us with is a basis and a foundation for conversation, for like a dialogue, for um, the ability to communicate more clearly. So it's one thing to say, you know, um, bend your knee. That uh, has some information to it. But when you understand what the how the knee joint is, um, what is going on inside of your knee joint, you know, the fact that it has ligaments and it has... Um, these things called meniscus and there's muscles that surround the knee that create knee movements. There are muscles that create knee flexion, which is knee bending. There's muscles that create knee extension, which is uh, straightening the knee. So when you understand the workings of the knee joint, or when you understand the workings of any joint, then what happens is you start to visualize your anatomy as you practice. So rather than just, um, you know, doing whatever the teacher says, just because they said it, you'll be able to see what's happening inside of you, an internal map. This is called proprioception. And proprioception is uh, what helps us with better balance and ultimately better functionality. So better movement and being able to uh, utilize our body to the, the fullest extent. And so one of the main goals of the yoga practice, or at least the asana practice, I would argue would be to increase our proprioception, our awareness of our body. So I created anatomy in motion with this intent in mind to help everybody build better proprioception, better body awareness. And that's going to apply directly, of course, to your yoga practice and to your everyday life to move better, to feel better, whether you're sitting, walking, standing, or playing athletics or whatever it might be. So the online section, the six hours of anatomy will be the education part that will give us all the same information. So when we walk into the room together and we start to practice, the everyone will have the same knowledge base. So when I'm communicating, you'll know what I'm saying. So I won't have to explain and try to verbalize something that should be visualized. So what we'll use in the on-screen part of the anatomy course is visualizations of the muscles. You're going to see the muscles. You're going to see the joints. You're going to see how the body moves visually so that when you're feeling it kinesthetically, when we get together in our practice, it's going to make a lot more sense and it'll connect to you in a deeper way. Um, so the in-person section is informed by the online section and becomes a lot more powerful because you have this back 
backing knowledge that you study from the online section. So this is the best part. I think the um, how the immersion is built through this online in person, we utilize the best of both worlds. Because we all know like when we get in person, it's really great. It feels good. We want to practice. We want to get into that energy. Um, but also there's a part of us that wants to grow, develop, and learn and, and transform and change our practice so that we can get better, right? But we can't do that without some kind of information that's going to drive that. It's one thing to do, 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 practice, 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 but it's another thing to have informed practice so that the practice actually advances and develops. And so what we'll be doing is getting the information first that will transform the way that we move on our yoga mat and the way that we understand our body, honestly. Fairly clear. Yes, very clear. Uh, so if anyone has any question, just feel free to jump in uh, or write them in the chat. If, if you want us to, to, to translate, just write in Swedish and we will ask the questions in, uh, in English. So just feel free anytime. And, um, and then we just got a question about how experienced do you need to be to, to take part of the immersion? What would you say around that? Oh, you're muted, Matt. You're muted. There is very little experience required. If you've practiced a little bit of yoga, you'll be totally fine. So the way that I teach is uh, I always teach to all levels, meaning from very beginner to very advanced. To me, that it, it makes no difference where you are in your postural experience or anything like that. The way that I teach is I share with you a, a muscle engagement or a joint action or, or something that is going to help you understand your body. And everyone applies that to all the different postures. So rather than just saying like, okay, here's, here's a pose, um, you know, here's an advanced posture, just try and do it. You know, like here's a handstand, go do it. That's not my approach. The way that I try to share is the building blocks, the steps, the every uh, detail that goes into building, say something like a handstand. So if you come in with zero knowledge and zero practice of handstand, or if you come in as a professional handstander, it doesn't make a difference. We're all starting at the same place because everyone has the uh, everyone has a body. There is no advanced body or you know, a uh, beginner body. We all have muscles and contracting them sensationally is what brings us uh, or what brings our mind into focus. And so what advances our practice is not trying to attain postures, but rather trying to connect to this physical form that I'm living in. So if I understand how to engage my glute muscles, for example, then I can apply that to all the yoga postures. And so everybody's practice advances from wherever they're at. There's the approach basically is that you, that what I teach is not necessarily yoga asana. I teach how to use your body. And then when you know how to use your body, you can apply that to yoga asana. And we'll be doing that, of course, in our, uh, in our time together is we'll apply first the knowledge to our understanding of how our body moves. And then we'll take how our body moves and apply that to the asana practice. So all levels appropriate, no matter where you are, it doesn't matter if you just kind of stepped into a yoga room, I would probably say it's, you get the most out of it if you've practiced for a couple of months as a prerequisite, but ultimately it doesn't make a difference. What really matters is that you have the curiosity and the desire to learn and I'll help you from there. That's my job to make sure that you feel comfortable, confident, supported. And of course, uh, I have to let my dog out. I apologize. Give me one second. <laughs> he's, he's going crazy. One second. What about the dogs? Okay. I mean, if you want to use the chat, then you want to unmute it when you have a question. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so I would say, um, so long as you have the curiosity and the desire to learn this immersion will be appropriate for you. Don't worry about where you are, whether you're a beginner or advanced, it doesn't make a difference. It's just the curiosity to learn. That's what, what is required in order for you to come into this immersion, I would say.
and that's thank you the same as I said, but I, I didn't say it in uh, the in the very good way that you said it. And also the online thing, uh, uh, online part of it makes it so it makes a makes a start. So when you come there, you, we are at the same level as you said. So that's also a levels out. You know, if if you have a less experience. So anyone with any questions, just let us know or write in the chat. Why do you, do you, have you had this uh, um, type of uh, hybrid immersions before? So you do it at you do it now, right? Yeah, this is the first year of them. Um, yeah, obviously with the uh, the evolution of how we teach yoga, and um, honestly, it's one of the the best formats I have been able to uh, be a part of in my however many how many years I've been teaching fifteen years of teaching. So. Um, I think there's benefits to both sides of teaching in person, uh, as long as you utilize them, of course, right. You can, be, you can utilize the, uh, the space as an in-person teacher and you can utilize the online space. If you, if you do that, well, you can leverage the medium for which you are sharing your practice with, right. It's just like an artist. Um, you know, you have a canvas and you've got paint different than if you have canvas and charcoal. You just have to understand how to leverage each tool. So what I love about the online space is that you can really level, leverage visualizations. So I can share with you, you know, I can, um, we can even maybe just show you a little bit in the course if you'd like. Um, essentially what we do is on-screen visualizations of the muscles, of how the body moves. And so you start to see it but that becomes visualized when you start to practice. So kinesthetically, uh, when you get on your mat and you start to feel how your body uh, moves, sorry, the wind just blew the door shut. <laughs> when you start to feel that how the body moves, then of course you'll have a visualization that pairs with it. So what online, I think one of the massive benefits of online is that you have a visualization on screen and you can rewind and you can, uh, you know, you don't understand something, you watch it again, watch it again, watch it again. You don't have to ask the, the teacher to repeat that 15 times, right? So the repetition and the visualization is like the, the massive benefit to uh, online space. So what I've done is I've leveraged that in the, and then also you'll be taking little quizzes after each one to check your memory. So you get that um, integration process. It's one thing to watch something or hear it or learn it or whatever. It's another thing to be able to then answer a question about it. And then you start to reintegrate that information even more. So we utilize that process as well. So, and then of course, being in person, there's nothing better than, you know, that eye to eye connection. We're breathing together. We're in the space together. There's that uh, kind of awareness that there's a group energy going on and um, it takes this, uh, the beauty of, of just humanity and brings it into one space. So I love utilizing online for education and in-person for transmission of, and connection. So that's what, you know, for me, the hybrid trainings have been so powerful for. And um, yeah, I can't wait to get to Sweden and share it with you all. That's going to be super exciting. Um, can we get the online teachings recorded to be able to go back and study it? Yes. The online teachings are, it's a course, it's an online course. Um, and you will be able to, uh, you get lifetime access to it. So when you take the course, you know, you make your way through, you'll watch a video, you'll take a quiz. And then when you complete the course, you always have access to it unlimited. So you can retake the course or just go back to one single video to revisit and see what was that information. I don't remember it. I don't remember what I, you know, went over and so on and so forth. So it'll be really, uh, easy way for you all to um forever be involved in this uh anatomy conversation and um it never expires as long as i'm alive sorry for being anonymous here um i really love your online content and i really hope i'll be able to find the time and money to participate awesome maria 
hope that you are able to as well. That would be super exciting. We'd love to have you here. And thank you for uh, participating in, or I guess being a part of my online content. I'm not sure what the best phrasing for that is. Glad you are enjoying yeah, it. May I also say, uh, if Maria wasn't here, that you can always contact uh, Yoga Games if you don't want to make the full payment upfront, and we can uh, make a, an, an, a part payment, or we can make a, uh, make a later payment. So, so we can help you with that. So that one will be easier for you. Oh, that's amazing. Okay. Thank you for that. That's great. Glad to hear that we have that option. Is it possible to share a bit from the course, like, like you just said? Uh, yeah, let's do it. I'm going to take you inside. All right. So let me um, share screen. Uh, can you enable sharing screen for multiple participants or whatever it is? Done. Should be working right. now. Okay, one second. Share screen. There we go. All right. Cool. We see it. Yes. No. Yeah, we see a small. I see small one. Maybe it's because you spotlight it. Is that is that the reason? Yeah. Maybe take off my spotlight. Okay. I, I see a big one. I see the big screen. Okay, oh. sorry. All right, cool. <laughs> okay, so the way this is, uh, this is one of the courses that I have. This is the 20 hour version. We'll have a six hour version of this, but um, essentially what happens, you come in, you've got, you know, welcome video, you have sections and each section, you know, so for, for example, this one is the shins, the ankles and the feet. So it goes over the movements of the ankles, the feet, um, and it shows you which muscles are creating those movements. And then uh, you were quizzed on that. So like, for example, let's just see if we play this for a second. And tell me if you hear the audio when it comes. Hello, up. and welcome back to your anatomy training. We're going to start with the actions at the ankle joint. The way the whole training will work is I will provide you with the movements of a particular joint first. We'll do those movements, memorize the names of them, and then we'll get into the muscles that create those movements in the videos that follow. So to start us off with the ankle joint, we have four major movements of the ankle. The first one is called plantar flexion, and this is a movement that we know as pointing the ankle or pointing the foot. So if you lift your heels up like this, this is called plantar flexion of the ankle. Say it out loud, plantar flexion of the ankle. Another way, you can uh, bend your knee and, and then point your foot like this. This is commonly known as pointing the foot, but plantar flexion of the ankle. Say it out loud, plantar flexion of the ankle. Okay, so the next movement is called dorsiflexion of the ankle. So we have plantar flexion. Okay, so you get the idea. Basically, I, I share a little bit about the action. And then in this video in particular, this is all about the actions, the, the joint movements. And then in further videos along, it's about the muscles that create those movements. So the categorization is what really helps people with anatomy because most people study anatomy from the wrong direction. They study like one muscle and then the next muscle and then the next muscle. And because there's a billion muscles in the body, that's very overwhelming and it becomes uh, really challenging to get a grasp on anatomy. So instead, what we do is we go categorizations of movements there's a lot less available movements in the body than there are muscles. So what we do is we go plantar flexion is a movement at the ankle joint. It's one of the four movements at the ankle joint. And then we say, well, okay, well, what, what muscles create plantar flexion? Well, then there's the gastrocnemius, the soleus, you know, and the plantars. So we understand that there's plantar flexion and when we memorize that movement and then the next layer down is what muscles create them rather than going, what does the gastrocnemius do? And what does the plantaris do? And what does the soleus do? That's a lot of information. It's hard for the brain to categorize that. So the system that I use in this is 
uh, one in which that it makes it a lot easier for you to actually get a grasp and a handle on anatomy. So it's not, um, it's not this mysterious, crazy subject that feels like it should only be taught in medical school, but it's something that actually you recognize this is my body. Uh, this is my anatomy. This exists within me and it's done. You know, I do this every day. I plant our flex my ankle every day. That's normal. When you walk, the back foot is going to be plantar flexing to push you forward, right? So plantar flexion is just simply a name. It's just a name for what we already do. Okay. So um, just to kind of give you a feel for, you know, then you would take a quiz over here afterwards, after you watch the video and, and it'll ask you questions like when standing, rolling the ankle outward and lifting the inside edge. This Obviously, you didn't watch this part of the video, so you wouldn't know this, but uh, we're going to do, sorry, inversion is the answer to that question. And then from standing, rolling angles, oh, it's going to be eversion. You don't know the answer to that question either because we didn't watch that, but commonly known as pointing the foot. You know the answer to this one. The action commonly known as pointing the foot is called plantar flexion. And that's you know the information that you just got in that short snippet of the video, plantar flexion of the ankle. So obviously if you watch the rest of the video, you would know the rest of these answers. And then after you finish the quiz, you get permission to move forward. You could always go back to that video that you just watched. You can retake the quiz um, and you can view the questions and see what you got right. You see what you got wrong. Thankfully I got them all right. That's exciting. And then you move on to the next video. Okay, and then you continue on with your process. Okay, one second, I do have to let Tito in now. <laughs> All right. Of course, now you're going to see, you know, uh, you start the next video and you're going to have more information about other muscles that do the joint actions that were discussed. Um, and then, of course, when we come together in person, we're going to be applying this knowledge to our yoga practice so that we'll understand what muscles are engaging when we're in a certain posture or what muscles we need to engage in order to get more access to make the posture more accessible um, and approachable, regardless of you know, where we're at in our life, uh, age, injuries, and things like this, we'll have a better basis of understanding of what is required of us in order to access different poses. And there he is. I see him just came in. <laughs> All right. So uh, if you have any other questions about the course or uh, about what we'll be doing in person, please feel free to ask, ask away. All clear. Okay, all clear. <laughs> no more questions. Thank you, Matt. Thank you, everybody. Nice Actually, to I have in. a question. Um, Please. Uh, I was just uh, wondering uh, how much will be movement and how much will be lectures? That's a great question. Well, the lectures are all going to be online. So the entire uh, lecture section is is about is the education that you're going to get on online. So that when we're in person, we're primarily going to be applying this information to our yoga practice. So that includes, of course, asana practice. You know, we'll do uh, you know our standard vinyasa, applying muscle engagements. Uh, have you practiced with me before? Yeah. Okay, so you I'm know. I that... came up to you and asked you if you were a physician. Uh, okay. Yes. I do. I we, had do a, we had a talk. Yeah. Yes. I recall your face um, and the conversation. So yes. Uh, so the way that we practiced in at the yoga games, similar, we'll do the same thing, but then in addition to that, we'll also be working with, uh, well, we did this also we've probably done this with me at yoga games too. some partner work, seeing um, uh, other people's bodies and trying to help them, and we'll do that through the application of anatomy now. So now that we'll have the information, it'll be a lot more, uh, what's the word, effective, because now 
we're all going to be looking at the body rather than just like, oh, the knee is here. We'll understand how many degrees of flexion that is and what muscles are creating that and how we can activate muscles to improve certain things. And so there's a whole bunch of uh, posture labs or posture dissections that we'll do together as a group and then in small groups. Um, but pretty much the whole thing is going to be physical, physically involved. Um, so I'm not going to stand at the front of the room with like a, you know, a little marker showing you the muscles. That's what the online section is for. Is that clear? Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Thank you, Matt. We're looking forward. As am I. Thank you. Can't wait to see you all in September. Rusty Wells, good to see you, bud. <clears throat> All right. I'll hand it out. Thank You're you muted. very much. Thank <laughs> you very much, Matt. Thank you. Thank you. I'm looking forward to everything in September. Uh, if you have any questions, just email us if you find some questions after this and we send them to Matt. So just, just let us know. Cool. All right. Cool. All right, everybody, thank take you care. Thank you very much. You too. Bye. All right. Bye bye. Okay, Rusty, I will spotlight you for everybody. <laughs>